Welcome, this is Dr. Amanda Rockinson Zapke with The Doctoral Journey. Before we get started with today's tutorial, let me remind you, you can visit thedoctoraljourney.com to get more resources and to download the file that we're going to use for today's tutorial. Also, feel free to connect with me on Facebook or Instagram. So let's get started. In today's tutorial, we are going to look at how to do a logistic regression using SPSS. But before we get into SPSS, let's go ahead and set up the scenario that we're analyzing today. There's a professor who wants to be able to predict whether or not the learners in her program are persisting. And she's done a literature review and decided that she wants to know if learners persist, persist based on three variables, sex, male or female, their age in number of years, and their sense of community scale midway through the program. So she recruits 120 participants or learners um, in the program to complete a survey halfway through. Uh, she, in the survey, she collects a, uh, data on a sense of community um, using a validated scale. And she also asks students to, or learners to uh, answer some demographic questions. And this includes their sex and their age. She then tracks them three years um, because the program is two years long. So she figures by the end of three years, they have either graduated or they and persisted in the program or they haven't. Um, and so now she's ready to analyze the data. She chooses to use a binomial logistic regression. Now, why is this? Because this analysis, analysis is appropriate when you want to know the probability that a learner or a case falls into one of two categories um, in a dichotomous variable or a nominal or categorical variable that has two categories. So in our case here, we're looking at persistence. Yes, they did persist in the program and graduate, or no, they didn't persist in the program or they didn't graduate. And we're, and we're uh, looking at whether or not this happens or the likelihood of this persistence based on three what are called independent or predictor variables. Like I uh, said, the community score, age, and sex. Now, something important to note here is when you do a binomial logistical regression, your independent or predictor variables uh, that you're interested in can be continuous, they can be interval ratio, or they can be categorical. So let's go ahead and uh, get into SPSS, as you can see here, and we have all the data set up. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is that we have our variables that we are considering. First of all, we have persistence, which is our criterion or dependent variable. It's what we want to predict. And then we have the case number, but then we also have our three pr uh, predictor or independent variables, age, sex, and community. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to run this procedure. So we're first going to go, and the way that we're going to do this is we're going to use the binary logistic procedure in SPSS. To get there, we are going to go to Analyze. We're then going to come down here to Regression, and then we're going to choose our function or our procedure, binary logistic and so here, actually, I'm going to go ahead and reset because apparently I'd already run it. Um, go ahead and reset it. What we Here's what we want to do. We first of all want to choose our dependent or criterion variable, which is persistence. And we're going to click on that and we're going to click the arrow button and move it into the dependent box. Now we want to move our three independent or predictor variables into this uh, area or this right here that says block. So I'm going to click on age and use the arrow button to move it over. I'm going to click on sex and I'm going to click on community. Now we see here that we have one categorical variable and that's sex, male and female. I want SPSS to know that this is a categorical variable. So I'm going to click the categorical button right here. And what you're going to see is the categorical dialog box opens. And I'm going to click on sex because it's my one categorical variable. I'm going to move it over here to this categorical covariates box using the arrow again. And then I'm going to click continue. And you can see here when we go back to this logistic regression dialog box that uh, sex has now been identified as categorical or cat. Now, there's a few additional uh, things that we need to do here. The next thing I want you, uh, we're going to do is go ahead and click the options button. 
When we click the option button, the option dialog box appears. Now there are a few things that we want to make sure that we click here so we have the necessary data. First of all, we're going to do classification plots. If we wanted to, we could uh, click this Hosmer uh, let me show goodness of fit if we wanted to verify our results, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to go ahead and click case-wise listing of residuals, and I want uh, SPSS to show, tell me if there's anything that out, uh, is outside two standard deviations of what, uh, of what the mean is. And so this is going to help me identify outliers. Uh, we aren't going over assumptions in this specific tutorial, but if we were looking um, at the outlier assumption, then this is the box that we want to tick. So we're going to go ahead and tick that. We are setting um, our value at 90 or our p-value at 0 0.05. So we want it, um, our confidence interval to be at 95%. In the display, I want it to go ahead and display at the last step. And then I'm going to keep everything else exactly as it is um, in the default mode of SPSS. And I'm going to click the continue button. Now I also want to click the save button here. And when we come to the save the button, the only thing we need to click, or save dialog box, the only thing we need to click here is probabilities. And then I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And now we are ready to go ahead and click OK. And SPSS is going to provide us with all the output we need now to uh, interpret our results, and then also write up our results, which I'm going to go over in the next tutorial.